Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Wired Nerdy Podcast. My name is Keith. This is Doug, and this is episode number 21 of season number two. Doug, how you doing, man? It's hot out there. It's good. You know, um, I've got a lot more energy from last show. <laughs> I, I just want to bring that up. So, yeah, uh, good show. It's really hot outside. You know, I've got a nice red glow. Don't adjust your cameras. I uh, <laughs> forgot the uh, sunscreen there. Lobster believe, Doug. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Today, we've got a great episode for you. we got got uh, some quick little links, but then that uh, Prime Day deal is coming up, you know. Giant. The 16th, right? Is that when it starts? 16th and 17th? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I, I don't know. I I bought some things before then because they've had stuff on sale, um, you know, beforehand. Got myself some different stuff. So, I don't know. I'm interested in seeing what they have on sale. We're going to take a peek, see if there's, you know, anything worth worth having. But before we get into that stuff, let's queue up the nerd news. What do you say? Hey, let's do it. Nerd news. The list here. I'm going to have you start us off. We had a, a movie trailer announcement, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. Uh, a lot of movies coming out this summer, especially with the writer's strike over. The latest one I saw was Captain America Brave New World. Now, as I've discussed before with uh, comics. I'm not really up on all the uh, comic book lore and the storyline, so you'll have to help me on this one. Uh, it looks like uh, we have uh, Harrison Ford in it. Uh, he is now a military leader of sorts, I believe. He's a president, actually. President. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, if you look in the trailer, well, let, let's if you back the the trailer itself is um, Harrison Ford is a president. You don't have Steve Rogers anymore. If you remember, he went on. So we have new Captain America. Um, what's interesting about this is, and I'm not going to try to ruin anything. Do you know much about Red Hulk? Because he makes a not. very brief appearance. At least his leg does, if I remember correctly. Sorry for ruining the trailer for anybody who hasn't seen it. Uh, but this this is their... Uh, they're bringing in Red Hulk. Now, in the comics, and I'll be very careful with this, traditionally, the Red Hulk was a villain to the traditional uh, banners, Green Hulk. And um, from the 1960s, at least, they introduced him. And there was a general, I believe it was Ross was his last name, was a part of the Gamma Project that created the Green Hulk. Mm. And Ross was really critical of he didn't like banner having final say on the project and how it's used and that kind of thing so he was i was he was always like really critical and then of course through a series of events he goes through the gamma project himself and becomes well the red hulk oh so yeah you see it very briefly at the end there so now who the red hulk is that sort of thing my suspicion is it is harrison ford but he's a president in this he's not a general maybe he was before so who knows what they're doing i'm sure they're very good about mix, mix matching these up. And actually, the reason why I say that is because the very beginning, when he's at one of his rallies, it said President Ross on it. And Ross was the last name of the general. That was not a fan of Bruce Branner's. <laughs> so I'm just putting two and two together there. So so that, that's the background behind the Red Hulk. That's who's going to be the central uh, in this. And it's kind of interesting, like, D, you know, Disney's pulling out characters that are what I would consider deeper cuts within the comic book lore in order to, I don't know. They just haven't been the same since uh, their culmination of infinity war. So they've been kind of struggling with getting their mojo back. Uh, and then of course, losing James Gunn because he's right now filming in Ohio, Superman, which of course, James Gunn is known for writer director of guardians of the galaxy. One of their biggest franchises. Uh, and of course he did one of the suicide squads as well. So this whole thing is going to be very interesting. See how it plays out. So. Yeah, it looks really good. I've always been a fan of the Marvel movies. Uh, never really got into the comics, but uh, the movies are amazing so far. The whole uh, they come in waves, right? The first phase, second phase, I believe, yeah. is how they've got them. Yeah. Uh, they've been good so far. So, all these is good. Um, I love the new concept on Captain America, which was formerly Falcon, and I, I love the mix. I think it'll be cool. Um, I, this is probably outside of Deadpool versus Wolverine. This is the first. I would say Marvel movie. I'm semi excited about after seeing this trailer. So. Yeah, absolutely. And Red, Red Hulk, seeing him, that'd be kind of cool. That so, is really cool. Yeah. Pretty neat. 
All right. Now, we are going to talk about Prime Day. But this one is a special one that I wanted to call out. If you are an Amazon Prime member, now this is one day only, and I'm going to go out there and grab it because we were just talking about comic book stuff, right? They are giving away for you to keep the digital version of Kill the Justice League, which the game, it didn't do so well in way of the critics. It wasn't that it was a bad game. I just think there was so much hype around it. Uh, but the idea behind it, it's in an alternate world in which uh, the story goes that Superman uh, and the Justice League themselves, they're bad. They're bad guys. So they have to lean on the traditional bad guys <laughs> uh, like Harley Quinn uh, to Deadshot uh, in order to stop them. And it's it's a it's an action game. A lot of shooting, that sort of thing. But I've always wanted to play it. It didn't fare very well. I never picked it up, but you can get it free. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you out there, you can grab it. Uh, now, they also have, uh, let's see here, Chivalry 2, yep. Rise of the Tomb Raider. All of that is free through the end of the day on July 17th. And so you get to keep it. So now this is probably, this is going to be PC. I doubt this is, uh, you know, yep. within, the, you know, the actual... Uh, it's got to be a digital download. So, but yeah, yeah, there's been some good ones out there. Very good titles. Now, currently, right now, they have uh, Knights of the Old Republic, yep. uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, that new great one that game. just came out. It's a great, great game. game. Yeah. Uh, Weird West Definitive Edition. And they have, um, trying to think of the name of it. It was kind of before uh, Red Red. Call of Juarez, that's it. So oh, Call of Juarez. That's before Call of uh, mm -hmm. Juarez as well. So Yep. Yep. I you know, I'm impressed that they're doing this. Uh this game, the Kill the Justice League Suicide Squad game came out in May, maybe. So it's relatively new, but since it didn't perform well, they're getting it out there. Um, uh, but I'm I'm excited about it. So anyway, if you have if you like video games, you have an Amazon account or you know someone who does, tell them about this. These are decently, you know priced games that you get free so this right. does not go with the sale because well it's free that's why i threw it into the news <laughs> very good all right now this one's interesting i don't know if you read any any of it got a chance to read up on any of these doug uh we kind of take turns guys sometimes doug loads up the news sometimes i do he's been busy at air shows so <laughs> oh yeah getting burnt <laughs> i'll let you read the title on this one and we'll, we'll go from there yeah, so I actually did get a chance to look into this um, and the story after this. I don't want to jump ahead. But yeah. after initially rejecting the idea, Apple has approved the first PC emulator for iOS. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, legal issues and licenses and stuff that they got to worry about when they do that. But it looks like they're going to be able to run classic software and old school games for Windows Mac OS 9 and Linux on your iPhone. And I assume with uh, iOS 18 and iPad 18 version coming out, it's going to come to the iPad as well. This is really cool. And you're right. They try to avoid it uh, because of the legal aspect of it. They try to keep emulation off. But as you know, um, they've kind of allowed, allowed that at this point. Yeah. This is cool because it allows PC emulators and it, it, it includes, um, you know, things for VGA graphics, x86, PPC and rest of Now, essentially what that means is you can do old school Linux operating systems, or you can even do old Mac pre Mac OS 10 uh, operating systems. Where this is really exciting is if you got a whole library of DOS games like I do, uh, in theory, if you look right here, they, you can see they're running in this photo, Windows oh, yeah. XP. So if you have an iPad, this is where this really gets cool. Uh, if you have an iPad and you have DOS games, in theory, you can run this and you can have a virtual machine, essentially full-blown DOS or full-blown Windows XP. You can play old school Command & Conquer or original OG World, uh, Warcraft or Doom, uh, Wolfenstein. Nice. Uh, this, is, this is really cool. So this is, I'm excited about this. Oh, I am as well. You know, uh, talking about Windows and Mac, growing up, Mac was the thing that was always in the schools. Uh, my mother was a teacher, always had a Mac. She brought one home. So there's tons of games that came out for Mac only that I love, love, love. And I would love to uh, play those again. One of those, and I can't remember, like Dino Safari. You went and took pictures of dinosaurs with aliens. It was weird. I don't know. 
but uh, it was a Mac OS game, and it was amazing. Let's see, Dino Safari. Oh there my god! There it is, gosh. right there. Yeah. Boom. Dude. I mean, it's very uh, rudimentary, and it's, uh, it's now. This is a this is a new version. See, oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the dinosaurs attack yeah. you. But the OG version is yeah. right here. Look, look at those at graphics. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually pretty good. So you would go back in time and collect uh, photos of these dinosaurs and plants and stuff, and get like huh. data crystals to. Okay, it was cool. I never played this. But was, uh, being the uh, son of a teacher, I played tons and tons of educational education. games yeah. as well. You know, Oregon was, Trail was big in our house. So. There were some good ones, man. Oh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Oh, fun. that one too. Yeah, there's some good ones actually. Oregon yeah. Trail can't go wrong. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of Mac OS. I never had a Mac. I, I was anti Mac, uh, pre Mac oh, Mac OS time. ten. I was, I was. I didn't like it, especially when I got in the early part of my IT career because they were. So much more difficult to work on um, in way of and navigate, in my opinion. But yeah. when they switched kernels over to the Unix based kernel, which was Mac, o- Mac OS 10, that was a game changer. It did get better from that point on. And, you know, it, the rest was history. But uh, I'd never owned one of these. We, I always was able to mess with PC DOS gaming more than anything. So, but this is it's pretty neat. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with your memory. You actually, I typed it in and it brought it up. So they uh, even have a new lots version. Lots of memories of, of uh, trying to find a dinosaur to take a picture of. So, and this is on something called Mac Repository. So that means um, this is definitely a classic. Oh, look, you can even download it right there. Oh, sweet! It's got the ROM for it, dude. So, in theory, you could go and download that emulator, put Mac OS nine on your. You have an iPad mm-hmm. right here. Download this ISO file, which is of course a simulated CD. It'll load it up, and you'll be able to go play this, man. Very nice. <laughs> Pretty exciting. That's cool. Very, very neat. Yeah, so since the whole uh, release of Mac, uh, or uh, iOS, sorry, uh, adding emulators, it's been uh, great for the iOS world. I kind of twist my words, but emulators coming on to the uh, iPhone, iPad uh, platforms, really great. That brings us into... Our next story, if you will. I, st- I started going down the rabbit hole looking at what other games they had out oh, there. Oh, no, Sorry, save Dave. that website. <laughs> we'll uh, go back to that. Sorry. I, was got, I, I got went down the rabbit hole. Yeah, I'll let no, you take no, this you... one as well. This, this is the theme here. So we're kind of on the same thing, uh, but there is an app called Delta. So Delta's latest update allows iPad users to emulate multiple games at once. And this is cool because with that screen, like here's a DS on this and the top screen is the game screen and the bottom screen is like for your inventory and for your buttons control. It's really neat because you have more real estate, you know, Oh yeah. Uh, to, to type on. So this is really cool. Uh, again, more and more of these emulators, of course, Nintendo is very anti ROM and they're going after, you know, these ROM companies with crazy, crazy passion. Mm. Uh, but yeah, man, this is cool. You can see the bottom here where you have, I guess that's more GameCube ish. Well, no, that's Nintendo 64. Uh, so you can get a whole bunch of these, but now you're getting into where you can do a lot of these retro games on your uh, actual phone. It's, it's mm-hmm. so crazy. Which, what's funny to me, it's starting to catch up though, because you have been able to do this on Android for a while. To be fair, so <laughs> they're just now catching up with with iOS. But, but yeah. right, uh, I think iOS uh, may do uh, as well a good a job as Android. You know, they've got. Uh, some better under the hood specs, as you say, and then better screens. They've got really good uh, airplay from uh, if the, I'm calling it that, right? Yeah, from airplay. The, you can uh, iPhone send it, to the yeah. TV. Yeah. yeah, send it to your TV. Play it on the big screen. So, yeah, it's awesome. It's it's really good. And it shows here NES, Super Nintendo, N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo DS can all be played on TV thanks to airplay. Uh, of course, with the simulator. Mm-hmm. It's really neat. I haven't played with any of these, but I plan to at some point. Now, I've got Delta on mine. I've only played uh, Super Nintendo, where it works great. You tried but it? I, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. What'd you play? I played um, Super Strike Eagle. Super awesome game. Oh, cool. One of my favorite uh, Super Nintendo games there. But super. it works good. Controls on there. And you got me wondering. Oh, yeah, that's a fun game. I remember this one. Uh, you know, bombing runs, dog fights, uh, landing on carriers, uh, really cool stuff. Back Very there. cool, and it worked well. Uh-huh. Very neat. That's the one I usually try because that's my favorite on different uh, emulators. I've got it on the arcade behind me. I've got it on a Raspberry Pi. So, 
Very cool. That's kind of my test standard. Huh, that's cool. Made by Microprose. They made some really, really good, really good uh, games, PC yeah. games as well. So mm-hmm. they did get awesome. Thank you. Schooling me up on all kinds of cool stuff. All right. So last one on our list here. It would not be news unless we had what, Doug? Some AI. Some AI. That's right. Amazon is rolling out its new AI shopping assistant, as if I need any more help to shop. Uh, The shopping assistant is called Rufus. It will answer your questions about shopping uh, and also uh, politics, which I don't know why you would talk to it about that. That's kind of weird. But essentially, the breakdown of it is, and they show a screenshot of somebody who's looking for a backpack. Uh, and then within the Amazon app, you type in, you know, what's the material of the backpack? And it tells you it's made of, you know, resistant polyester, padded shoulders. Uh, you can, at that point, ask more questions. What do customers say? How does a backpack perform in the rain? This is cool because oftentimes you, I rely heavily on the comments. Yeah. And this allows you to bring the things that you're looking for up to the front without having to read every single mm-hmm. comment. So I think this is a cool use. I don't know. I don't know how you shop with Amazon. Because this would be something you would. Yeah, it works great. I am heavy, heavy, heavy on how many radians does it have? How many purchases in the last yeah. month or so? One thing that I uh, noticed uh, Amazon did a, a while ago is they're doing AI generated uh, review of the customer reviews. So you'll go down to the review section they and summarize. before it starts, they summarize it. So I pulled up one here about the Apple AirPods. Mm-hmm. It summarizes uh, customers like the quality, comfort, sound control. But then it also talks about opinions are mixed on its value, charging, and fit. And there's some other stuff in the middle. But it's really cool just to read. Instead of reading 500 user comments and user reviews, Amazon is giving you, hey, this is the general idea of what they're saying. So I like that a lot. It summarizes. You're right. Like I did was looking at some T-shirts and it said, you know, generally this is favorable. People like, you know, the, the, the shoulders and the neck. But then it said something in there about this. This item has a high volume of return due mm-hmm. to the fit not being right. Yep. Like it summarizes. It takes all that analytic data and merges it together and then gives you a summary. That's pretty cool. That's, That's pretty cool. Yep. You, you can do searches with it that are very specific. On the screen, they show that, like, if you're looking for something very specific, like, for example, in this case, they're looking for, um, it looks like lawn games for kids' birthday parties. So it's safe for kids, right? Well, typically at the top search, I would have just typed in kid lawn games, right? This, you can actually have a conversation with it and say, I need a, I need lawn games for a kid's birthday party. And then when it pops up, you can say, are these safe? You know, and then it you know goes from there and it makes suggestions of things that aren't pointy, the softer. You can uh, go for skill level, all kinds of questions. It's really neat for you to refine and and get to the thing that you're looking for. So I'm going to definitely try this out. Yeah, it should help a lot. And this is really good too with us, you know, getting into getting ready to talk about the Amazon sale. Now this, I believe. Let me go back up here. It says here, Amazon's AI shopping center at Rufus is rolling out to all users in the U.S. on Amazon's mobile. You can pull up the shopping assistant by tapping the orange and blue icon in the right corner of the app's navigation bar, uh, where Rufus can answer questions, draw comparisons between items, and give you updates on your orders. So this will be available now? I haven't looked in mine. Have you looked in your app? I I have not, actually. I'm going to go look now. Look at this. A live testing. I'm bringing up Amazon. Okay. It's, it's advertising Prime. You can see that. Very nice. To go to, to search on the top. I don't see it. It said. And it's in the Amazon shopping app? It's what it says. It says here. I really use it. Answer question. Tapping the orange and blue icon in yep, the right. I've got it. How do you have it and I don't? Uh, yeah. So if you can see my screen, Oh, down on the bottom, it's a little blue and orange, uh, thing on the screen there. It's cause you have an Android. I'm it? stretching really far to my camera. Uh, sorry. I see it. <laughs> I see it. I don't have that. Making Android. 
<laughs> Just make well, wanna... but this makes sense though, uh, because all of uh, the items for Amazon are Android based, so it That's makes true. sense that they release it on there first. They may have done that. They, they, maybe they're, they're all on. their tablets are Android based, I believe. Their TV apps and stuff. So, but well, here I we found... can do a live uh, demonstration. What are we looking well, for? I'll say this on iOS. I found it. I typed in Rufus, and I did oh, find okay. it. But all it is is. It's telling you meet Rufus, and it shows you a video and explains everything we're talking about today. Um, but how do I get Rufus? Go to your phone's app. Make sure your Amazon's up to date. Once it's up to date, it, you know maybe they're doing a slow roll on operating system versions. They might be because I'm not seeing it in mine. So anyway, sorry. Yeah, let's search something. Let's do uh, a mini PC. We've been talking about those for a while now, right? Yeah. Like we want a mini computer. It says when choosing a mini PC, prioritize processing power, connectivity options, and compact size to suit your needs. Here are some great options. So it tells us the Intel NUC or NUC 11 yep. Pro. The NUC, yep. The B Link GTR Mini. Mm. The Minis Forum NUC Box 10. Okay. It gives uh, two more the Ace Magician T8 and the Chewy. Larkbox Pro. So can you ask it questions? So it's got some questions already. If you want, oh. uh, what operating systems do PCs run? What's your typical weight? What connectivity cool. options? All right. Typical storage and typical use. So it gives you a lot of options for preloaded questions, and then I'm sure you can ask another one. Okay. So it's working great so far. Just rub it in, why don't you? Well, you know. For some reason, not on my iOS, but I'm sure it'll get an update at some point. You know, they want me to shop, so it is in beta too. We have to be mindful of that. But yeah, uh, and I checked the piece, or sorry, the web version, and it is not there. This is, I think, going to be mobile app only for now. Mm -hmm. So that would be my assumption: is just the since their tablets and products are Android based, they've released it to them. Gotcha. First, so yeah, true. And and let's clarify on their example. And they talked about you can ask it questions about politics. In their example, they say that for like for specific policies, um, you can basically say, "Hey, there are certain political policies that I care about that are going to come up for election and voting. Uh, can you give me some major differences between the candidates?" And it actually brings up examples and i'm sure if you click in each one of these like gun control abortion rights if you click on one i'm sure it's gonna it's gonna offer you books to buy yeah, <laughs> absolutely i'm sure so that's what it meant at the top when it said so we can do quite a bit not just backpacks but it sounds like it can uh, you know you talk about uh, political that would be very interesting because you know we've talked about someone has to program the ai so is it programmed with biases for left wing right wing you know it or be. Yeah. It, it shouldn't be, hopefully, but uh, hopefully it has a neutral path and doesn't take one side over the other, you know? Well, it's trained. So you got to remember, it's trained data. So what that means is, is that you don't have a coder sitting down saying, hey, so-and-so candidate is this. It's it's not like oh, okay. that. Yeah. What, what they'll do is it's either there's different training methodologies whenever they train a data set. So there's supervised learning, unsupervised learning. There's all so. Supervised learning, for example, means it points it to some data. So let's say it points it to candidates' websites. Read this website, everything that's on this website. Mm -hmm. Now you know all about what this candidate has on their website. Now go read this candidate website. And then supervised learning means that as the supervised uh, person, come back and tell me about it. And when they do, I can ask it questions, and then I can fact check as the the data supervisor as to whether or not it's correct. So I can say, did what is the position of candidate A on gun rights? What is the position of candidate B on gun rights? Now, okay. keep in mind, it learned it directly from their websites. Now, that is a simplified example. Typically, what they do is larger data sets than that. They'll, they'll point the AI not only at the candidates, but then they'll point it to maybe news outlets. And this is where you get the skewing. Uh, news outlets, they can point it to the NRA. They can point it to, and at that point, it's able to then look for patterns, draw conclusions, and put together the most likely answer. But supervised learning, that's where you have to you know, monitor 
what it is learning because it can it, it, the whole idea behind AI is that it assembles patterns and it can ingest large amounts of data. And then, of course, it understands enough of large learning language models to have a conversation with you. So when you say something, you don't have to explain what it is. And I think oh. that's like one of the key things that people don't get about it is because it's been trained on large data sets, you don't have to explain stuff to it. So if you say to it, hey, and actually, this is a great example. I did one the other day I, just because I was messing with it. I went into GPT and I said, you know, we're just going to do it live real quick because this is this is actually pretty cool. Now, if you go inside of here, this is GPT 4.0 and say, explain macro, explain what is a macro in nutrients like I am a five-year-old. Now, this question, I don't have to tell it what a five-year-old is. It knows what a five-year-old is. And it built this exact same thing before. And it says, sure, imagine your body is like a car that needs fuel to stay strong. Macros are different types of fuel your body needs. Carbohydrates are like gasoline, gives you quick energy. Proteins are like building blocks that helps your body grow and fix itself. Fats are like long-lasting fuel, like rechargeable batteries. And then it gives examples. And these types of three fuels, macros, help you to be healthy and strong. See how it broke down the language to be very mm -hmm. simple? I didn't have to explain to it what, what I meant when I said, explain it to me like I'm a kid. It knows what a kid is. So that, that's the beauty of this. When you train in all this data, it becomes, I don't want to say self-aware, it becomes aware of all of the patterns. Yeah. If I were to say, explain this, Like I am, I already have a PhD in health. Greatly more complex. Oh my gosh. So uh, I'm only laughing because we had the same conversation. So uh, friends of yours and mine, Joe and Jeremy, were messing with ChatGPT. Our friend Joe, I believe, pays for the subscription as well. And we talk about explaining this to a five-year-old. So Jeremy, our friend, is in the oil industry. Uh, I'm sure that's a very gross uh, explanation of what he does. But we were all sitting around and he said, explain to me how oil or gasoline is refined like you're talking to a fifth grader. And it was amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, chat GPT did such a great job. So I'm glad you brought this up and talking about this whole like learning model for AI makes a lot more sense to me. So hopefully it goes in, you know, it, there's no bias. It's trained by who is actually working with it. So that seems great. It shouldn't be because they try to do checks. Now, you always have to check for errors. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this is one I put, explain to me what a CPU is as if I'm five years old. And it says, or imagine a computer is like a big robot that can do lots of yeah. things like play games and show favorite cartoons. The CPU, which stands for Central Processing Unit, is like the robot's brain. What's really cool about this is you can, if you're learning something new and you have a beginner's mind, this can take grossly complicated things and break it down to the simplest form. So you can start to learn and then you can steadily increase your knowledge. Um, so I don't know. This is just one example of so many things with an AI. I know we went down a rabbit hole here, but this just gives you an example of how Amazon's Rufus is able to take. They basically trained it on all of the comments. They trained it on the product descriptions. And that's how it's able to look for these large patterns and, and give you answers back. So, yeah, that's pretty great. Neat. Speaking of Amazon, let's get into our main topic. Absolutely. Dun, 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 dun. Prime Day deals. Oh, yeah. We touched so, on this a little bit last time, though, but we're going to get into the, the nitty gritty on this. Yeah, you know, last time we talked, we didn't really have the scoop on what was going to be uh, the deals this year. As we said, it is on the 16th and 17th, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday. Yep. I believe we have an article here talking about some of the best deals. I'm getting it loaded. So as you go down, um, it's kind of got the best deals. It's obviously not going to have every deal. And if you're not new to Amazon, or if you are new to Amazon, they have what's called lightning deals. So these actually have time limits that are going 24 hours a day, 
and you can kind of set alerts to stuff in your wish list, stuff in your cart, and watch these lightning deals along with the regular deals and see what's going on. So you got to catch them, right? Yeah. The first thing I see on the list there is a Apple Watch Series 9. $100 As we off. know in the past, you know, I had one of these on my desk. I was impatient. But uh, 299 that is such a great price. Yeah. You know, I'm going on Apple's website and it's still sitting at a uh, 399 so $100, $100 off. Yeah. Yeah. $100 off. Yeah. Now, AirTags are relatively cheap. I haven't messed with AirTags. Uh, I've seen people do some fascinating things with these air tags, by the way, they help you find stuff. So it, it uses, it's, it's not really active GPS, but what it does is it sends out a low level signal to other phones in the area and uses their connectivity to ping, send out a ping into the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so you can put it in your luggage and track your luggage. Like you look on your phone on find my iPhone and you can f watch your luggage as it goes through an airport all the way, you know, across the world. So they're about 30 bucks. I think you get for 24, not a huge discount, but these are fun. Uh, so that, that's a good deal. If you want to pick them up and play with them, they're fun. And then the iPad, uh, not a big discount on that one. It was a thousand bucks. It's only nine thirty four. I mean, I guess that's, yeah, what, 60, 65 yeah, bucks off? Not, so yeah, you got to say it. that is the top dog, right? That's the Apple iPad Pro with that new M4 chip. Yeah, that's So they're not going to discount it very much. That's a good point. This literally came out in May. Like yeah. The M4, yeah. Now you get an M3 MacBook for $100 off. Yeah, so. Now that thing's screaming probably. That's a Pro, so yeah. it's going to have a little bit more. Uh, and you mentioned this last time. Dude, the, the Amazon products are so cheap during this oh, time. Yeah. I mean, look at that. An Echo Spot, the new ones, which I have I had one of these a one time back. It didn't have this flat screen on it, but it was 80 bucks. It's now 45. I mean, that's a yep, good deal. Good Ring doorbell. That's a good mm -hmm. one, too. Very good. Dollars off. Keep Ooh. going down. We got the Echo Pop. Uh, they've got a bunch of different models of speakers. Uh, they've got Ring, so they've got those cameras, both doorbell and ones around the house. Yep, and that's a hundred bucks normally for a ring camera. It's only fifty five. So that's a good that's deal. a good deal. Yeah. You got uh, Wi Fi systems, mm -hmm. uh, those mesh ones to cover the entire house upstairs, downstairs. Ooh, now we're getting to the food stuff, man. Ooh, do you good. use air fryer? I do. Uh, I love my air fryer. <laughs> I love it too. That was one of those things where I was like so hesitant. I was like, I don't know. And then we get it, and I'm like, oh, they're so amazing. So we. <laughs> Technically have two. So we have this one right here where it's like a yep, toaster so oven, air fryer combo. But then we also, and we've had it for years, we have a basket air fryer. Yeah. You pull the little basket out. That's the first one I had. And then we switched to this. Yep. And now we just ex exclusively use this. And I've also handy. got a KitchenAid mixer. That thing's amazing. Look at this deal, man. Like 450 It's 350 Oh, and the we use it so much. So it's we. well worth that price. Yep. We have one, too. Although my wife will tell you, she's got the old school one where the neck actually bends. They changed the technology where some of them, yeah, they just only go up and down. They, the neck oh, doesn't yeah, bend. No. Yeah. <laughs> so she's We've not... got the one that where the, the neck yeah, bends. So do we. Yeah, so do we. Then, then there's your basket air fryer you were talking about. I thought this was cool. A Keurig Mini, like it's a single cup. Like oh, if you had, like nice. you, you're at a desk right, uh, mm -hmm. right now in the summer predominantly, you could have a single cup of coffee Keurig at your desk. Like just for for one, I thought That'd that was kind of kind of cool. Well, it's tiny. When I say single cup of coffee, all Keurigs make a single cup of coffee. But instead of being this like big thing, it, it's meant it's thin. It could sit on your desk. So sixty bucks. Yeah, not bad at all. It makes uh, six to twelve ounces uh, in one brew in yeah. just a few minutes. Looks good. We should have gotten Doug one of these for the last podcast. To be honest with y'all, dang it! <laughs> I could have uh, sampled it live. Zing. But right. we'll work on our sound effects. Let's get into some audio here. Uh, if you're in it in the you know the market for audio, dude, there's so many options. Wow, that's a crazy deal. The quiet comfort in ear, one seventy. They're normally two eighty. Uh, I mean, that's a heck of a discount. Yeah, yeah. Bose makes some decent stuff. Well, you pay for the name to a certain extent, but Beats always popular. One nineteen mm -hmm. instead of two hundred. So yeah, man, there's some really good deals in here. Now your deal. We'll talk about it here in a bit. It, you had gotten a deal on some earbuds, but they were not part of the Amazon Prime because it hadn't started yet. It's not even like a pre-deal, is it? 
No, well, yeah, I got an email, I believe, that, uh, hey, there's a pre-prime deal on some uh, AirPods, mm-hmm. and I'll explain that after this yeah. list, but I uh, got, got a, okay. quite the deal, yeah. Cool, cool. We'll just keep on running down here. They got travel stuff, uh, this portable neck fan, which I could have used that when I was uh, in Italy last year. You know, it was oh, like 107. Yeah. Oh, dude, it, like they had, in Rome, it was like the day we were in Rome, it was 107 degrees, and we're by the, the Colosseum. And there were people had all these kinds of fans like, like this, like around your neck and blow on you. I was like, man. Oh yeah. That's so, nasty. They're so lucky. So now they've got, uh, you know, cordless lawnmowers fans. I'm looking for, I always forget you can buy anything on Amazon. My goodness. Look at this. You can get yourself a Weber grill. 519 though. This thing oh, better. Yeah. And that's kind of pricey in my opinion. <laughs> I've seen some good deals on girls that like, sam's and mm-hmm. you, you can also get them at uh lowe's lowe's, lowe's has, has a good circle i have one that's yeah. about this size it's actually a little bigger and it's got a cyber and i did not spend now it's not a weber uh mine's a char charbroil but i didn't spend 519 that's why i think it's a little pricey maybe maybe weber is just maybe it's the apple of the grilling world i don't know and it's I would worry about a grill being shipped, you know, you at the uh, yeah. store you, well, yeah, they'll probably yeah. send it not built. <clears throat> that makes sense. But I would still worry about damage on transport. Yeah. There are some things I would worry about that. Now TVs, it's hard to compete in this realm only because dude, have you been to Best Buy or even Walmart, especially they're all <laughs> discounted all the time. Dude, you, you get, get like, a 65 inch for like 400 bucks. No joke. I was at Sam's and I, this thing, I have an 80 inch. I think it's an 80. Dude, they had a 90 or a 95. I'd never seen the size of it. And I think it was like, it was stupid. It was like 800 bucks. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? It's, it's getting ridiculous out there. Absolutely. Um, TVs are so cheap right now. Uh, so mosquito repellent. I like some of these obscure products. Yeah. You know, like stuff you they, don't think about every day. Oh, better call up Joe. Look nope. at this. Pickleball set. Yeah. Hey, hey, get your pickleball on. 32 bucks instead of 40. It's not a deep discount, but I've been seeing in multiple cities uh, around where we live, they are reforming or redoing basketball courts as pickleball courts. Really? That's yeah. funny. It that's is huge. Even... It's a huge I, sport. People love it. I know it's the rage. So that's that's the main list there. Um, looking for primo. Did they, these are ones that they expect. You know, obviously robot vacuums, uh, humidifiers, pizza ovens is a big deal, man. Like people love these pizza ovens. I'm, you know, not really gotten into that game, but yeah, we've got a pizza oven slash air fryer slash toaster that'll fit one of those Totino's pizzas. Yep. Oh, it works great. Now, this is interesting that you don't think of, and this has been going on for a while. Let me call this out. And this is a CNN article. It points out that Amazon Prime Day isn't the only sale to look forward to, as many major retailers will likely offer discounts also. They they talk about going to Walmart and Target and Wayfair. They run, Best Buy as well, will run parallel sales to try to snag people away. It's interesting that this Prime Day sale has become a thing. It's almost, I don't want to say it's like Black Friday, but it's ish because they talk about how Best Buy has $300 off select laptops, $200 off select MacBooks, $350 off gaming desktops, and 50% off small kitchen appliances. Uh, Wayfair goes into doing 60% sales off their stuff. It's like, so what are your thoughts? Like, do you think maybe Walmart but do you think any of these competitors have a chance to compete with Prime? Absolutely. You know, I can talk about this other article I read. Price matching is going to be big for you if you kind of want it now. You don't want to wait to uh, buy it. I would say the biggest competitors will be Target and Best Buy. I read this article. It's from The Verge. We uh, kind of trust them a lot. It says Walmart does not price match for its competitors. It will um, offer some price matching purchased from their online store. So if you're at a uh, Walmart location, you can price match the walmart.com. It's usually a little cheaper. But according to The Verge's uh, article, Walmart does not price match. Now, going back up to... So wait, best, a minute, it, wait a minute. Does that mean if I see something on Amazon that's cheaper and go to Walmart, Walmart won't price match it? That's what it's telling me. Yeah. And I think I've experienced that as well. 
Now, Amazon, I have to tell you, or I'm sorry, Best Buy. If you go to Best Buy, you have to, like, if you want to price match something on Amazon, it has to be from Amazon. So when you say go look at the AirPods, it has to say shipped and sold by Amazon. It can't be shipped and sold by, like, Don's Electronic Surplus or something. Yeah, I got you. I got you. So yeah, I went just over good to, tips out there for y'all. I went over just to grab a few more options. And what one thing I do want to call out, I, I don't know if we talked about it, but the Amazon Fire Stick is only 18 bucks. Keep in mind, if you do the Amazon Fire Stick, well, you, you'll probably want to do the, the, the 4K version, which is also, it's about $25, 50% off. You can now, if you get Xbox Live or their, whatever they're calling it, their Xbox Ultimate um, program that they have you can play xbox without an xbox by using one of these fire sticks and this is a cheap way to do it although people are pissed off because i think one of the early articles is that microsoft's going to be raising the subscription price uh mm-hmm. on on their program uh, that they have there um and so i don't know man it, it, but it's an option if you're looking to get into it and you don't want to buy an xbox i know yeah. i know some people that wait for prime like deals and they keep stuff in their wish list, and this is when they do their Christmas shopping. Oh, that's a good idea. Because you can get some. Now, you got to be careful, because some of these things are not on sale. Like, I don't know. It, it's not a great deal, because you can get it during Black Friday for almost the same, if not mm-hmm. lower. So you do have to do some price training. And there's some websites out there that, if you've been shopping for an iPad, for example, and you want to see its price flex, there's things out there that will track the listed price of something. You can use that as well. Yeah. One of the things I'm looking for this year, kind of way off the list, is a new boom mic. You know, you look at my boom mic on the camera here. It's leaning over. The mount for my desk has gotten a little worn out. So that's one thing I've got. I've got a couple in my cart hoping for a Prime Day deal to give me a new boom mic. So that'd be great. I just switched to a low-profile one. It was stupid cheap. I think this, this boom mic may – I mean, this thing may have been like 18 – 18 bucks. Oh, but, that's right up my alley there. But it's yeah. been, and don't call me, I'll, I'll go look after the show, Doug. But this thing's awesome because it, it mounts in the back of my desk and it can swing under my monitor. Oh, and it's, that would it's be great. It's not hanging. And, yeah, because this yeah. one's all in my way and I actually keep disconnecting it when I'm not uh, casting or doing a video call or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you, you need to look at the low profile ones before you pull the trigger on anything. Yeah. So kind of talking about Amazon deals, I'll go, unless you have something there, I'll go to the deal I got. So I got an email, uh, you know, you get emails from all these stores, but I got an email from Amazon, hey, Prime Day early deals. I put the link in there, but you're going to find it. I am. Is it second gen? Uh, Yeah, second gen. So the kind of latest, greatest Apple AirPods Pro Second gen, they use USB C, they don't use lightning cables. They were actually on sale. I typed in case on accident. There you go. Oh, you're good. So I got an email, they were on sale for one sixty nine ninety nine. I thought, man, that seems really cheap. Dude, look at this. You did? Because this is one eighty nine right here. Yeah, they've gone up. Huh. So I uh, you know, studied, studied. Uh they were still two fifty at Best Buy, Target, Walmart, Am- or Apple. So I pulled the trigger and I bought this. But right now, so. you know, it's uh, 169 up to 189 I checked uh, Apple still has them for 250 No discount. Mm-hmm. Now, you said competition. Best Buy does have them for 189 kind of the same as Amazon. So it looks like Best Buy is trying to compete with them. They are. But you got yours time. for 160 169 yep. I, I looked at the uh, receipt again just to make sure they're sold by Amazon. Hopefully nobody's sketchy, so... I love these. I use these every day. Like mm-hmm. I love these, and I'm not like big into earbuds. I, I was a lot of over the ear, but these things are they're awesome. I love them. Best ones I've ever owned. I actually owned a Gen ones before this. The right. Difference, by the way, between Gen one and Gen two is uh, wireless charging. So oh, I already have yeah. a wireless charger by my bed for my phone, and I just put this on it. it actually, it's charging right now because I was using it earlier today. So much. So yeah. when. Some of our listeners are going to say, Doug, you have an Android. Why do you need AirPods? Well, Uh-oh. I really recently purchased an iPad. I am loving it. Mm-hmm. I bought the iPad to kind of learn the uh, system. You know, it's an iPad, not an iPhone, but it has kind of the same flow and navigation and stuff. So I'm slowly getting towards buying an iPhone. 
these AirPods are going to stay sealed. I can probably do an unwrap video, but I'm not going to use them with the iPod, iPad. Too many i things. And I'm going to save them for the iPhone, which uh, should be out in about two months. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. You've been keeping an eye on the rumors too, uh, for those you, more so than I have, even about what the the phone are going to be like yeah. so i have yeah, a short talk- list of things i want to see i know mm-hmm. you do too as well yeah i was just going to say we talked about it when uh, apple had their wwdc keynote some of the features coming out this year especially the partnership with chat gpt uh, is really exciting for me you know i got impatient let's really talk about what the problem was last year i had the watch sitting on my desk uh, waiting to be opened i got impatient Plus, there were some battery issues and stuff that really scared me. So I believe I'm ready for the iPhone 16, and we'll hopefully have a episode for you of me unboxing all that. I'll wait to open it on camera, and it'll be a good show. Yeah, this has been a long time coming. He talked. You guys know this. He, he walks to the edge, and he runs back. He walks to yeah. the edge, oh, and yeah. then he runs back. But I think this iPad experience has probably been helping you. It it has very much. You know, I talked to you before the show. I have a Samsung Tab 7 FE, amazing tablet, really good specs They're inside. Good. But it's like 12.9 inches, I believe. I would have to look that up. Yeah. So the iPad I got is about uh, 10, but it's, you know, 9.8. So much easier to handle, so much easier to type on. It's very zippy and fast. And really, I don't really play games except for the emulators, which is really cool. I use it for checking my work email, checking my personal email, and then, you know, uh, social media and uh, streaming services. Just browsing mainly, right? And watching stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it's been working great. Yeah. That's awesome. It's really cool. I'm glad you're having a good experience with it. So sweet, man. That's another one in the bag. Yeah. So bring us home, man. I, I just want to say, appreciate everybody joining us uh, for episode 21. Boy, seems like crazy. You've been traveling a lot, so you know we've been trying to dance around the schedule and that sort of thing. So go ahead and bring us a home, man. Yeah, I appreciate everybody listening. Uh, we do this week to week, uh, month to month. Uh, we try to fit it into our busy lives. Like I said, I've been traveling. I was in a different state last week. I'll be in a, another state in two different weeks, another state a uh, month after that. So it's going to be a busy year for me. But back to this podcast, we're loving what we're doing. We're having great conversations. We're talking about the tech and movies and AI that uh, we love and we're interested about. So we want to thank everybody for tuning in each week and listening to us. That's right. Everybody have a great week and we will see you next week when we tackle episode number 22, right? Yeah, uh, 22. Yep, 22. Yeah, keep me straight. Ever since I messed up that one, I'm paranoid yeah, I'm going to get it no, wrong we're again. we're good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care. Yeah, thank you.